Yeah, I mean, if they do print that card, it's going to really shake things up. So. Yeah, because you'd have to play Fixed Breakers to do Tack Me. Or, not Fixed Breakers, you, you, you would have to not play Fixed Breakers to do Tack Me. Obviously, Tack Me also needs the Plast Creates, like, really badly. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do Magnum Opus Economy in Tack Me, because MUA should, obviously. Uh, so, like, Tack Me would, would get really narrowed down to, like, one build that can do it. Which is, I think, good, because it means it's also much more recognizable as the Corp. Like, you can start fiddling the pieces together to figure out if your opponent is playing Tack Me before they actually go for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it uh, becomes this thing where you go like, okay, he's, he's playing Tag Me, but that means that he doesn't have these other strengths that he could have brought to the table. Oh, ho, 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 Okay. That's good. Okay, we need to, like, get something out of this hand, man. All right, well, we're sweep sweeping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We are. Um, ice, oh. ice. I, I, I don't want to leave servers undefended against Andromeda, like... Yeah. Dirty Laundry. What goes, what goes where? Um, Draco and Draco hand? needs to have at least one strength, but I like Draco's with three strength also, unless it's Mimic, then it needs to be four. Like, Draco's strength is hard. Yeah. Um, um, don't you want the Draco on the... Um... I want to end the run on my hand for sure, because I have... Okay, okay then get the Hunter on R&D, and we'll tax R&D. It's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, Draco is like, okay, you don't want to leave it at zero, because then, ninja. Yeah, okay. although, he, it, I mean, okay, so the you most likely thing when we see him is we're expecting Mimic. Mimic and Fat. Yeah, you don't so, want to leave it at two strength, or you're yeah. under two strength, or at two strength, because then Fem is just really cheap. So three is yes. already fine against Fem, because now Fem says, mm -hmm. I have to pay three to get through this, you know, shitty cheap ice. Okay, yeah. reasonable mm -hmm. enough. But then if you put it on four, it actually becomes a problem for Mimic. Yeah, and really now, tough for Fem, too. Yeah, well, if you put it on four, Fem is just going to ignore it, and he's going to just, you know, try to beat the trace, I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, Desperado, Dirty Here Laundry. the Dirty Laundry. Let me just do a uh, better hedge fund. Or is, yeah. it, is it equal to a hedge fund or better than a hedge fund with Desperado? Um, with the Desperado, it's a hedge fund, but it's better because you're getting to run with it as well. So. Right, yeah. Okay, so in that case, it was just the hedge fund because you got to run on nothing. Yeah, on turn one, it's just a hedge fund. Later than that, with Desperado, it's better. And if you have data suckers, it's just like the best thing yeah, ever. Yeah, let's not, not even talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, FFG, why? Oh, wow. early Pass Creek. Whoa, that we went early. to zero That's... credits. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem correct. Okay. Huh. All right, so I'm a big fan of what he just did for us, and I think I want to draw to try to capitalize on this. Jack wants to draw because he can't trash it anyway. Yeah, right, I mean, let's... Oh, okay, wait, he can't trash it because he's going to get two from Daily Cast, and then he runs and he has Desperado money and he can get it done. Yeah, so I'm just going to draw normally. But then he's broke again, so that kind of seems okay. Yeah. You know, we could just draw, like, four cards, and then we can dump the agendas if we don't get anything good. Like, we'll draw two, evaluate, and if not, well, let's dump agendas. We're getting a little flooded. Okay, so you want to do it with Jackson? Yeah. Okay. I'll draw four. Action Jackson. Oh, okay. Well, now we don't mind getting that Jackson trash. I feel yeah. like drawing two more. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Let him trash the Jackson. Oh, well, okay. Well, what would I be discarding then? Yeah, no, I, mean, you have I, I could protect it with a Viper. <sighs> I really want the Viper to go off with the Chilo, not on its own. Mm -hmm. No, I think you just draw two more. These are not good agendas early. Those are like our end game agendas. You well, then I'm not letting him trash the Jackson though. I'm no, obviously using... then you have to. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna be discarding these. Yep. We'll keep the Astro because that's a good. Okay, and then the plan is to shuffle my entire yeah. archives back in. So. And in case you guys are watching, the big thing now is Andromeda has to run yeah. the archives. It has to be the archives. Because if he runs the Jackson, then he doesn't even gain the Desperado credit. Correct, correct. Of course, the problem is, if he runs the archives and we just trash some crap, then... He's at two credits? Alright, so are we going to put this at four like we were saying? 
four is way too expensive, I feel. Uh, what do you want it at then? One? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Or zero. I mean, zero's fine. He's not playing power Zero's seven. fine unless he's running ninja, which... <sighs> People aren't running ninja. All right, well, I'm definitely resing it, so... Yeah, because we can keep him out and give him attack, which is really nasty. Like, you can make it four, but it's really expensive. I think, though, because it's on HQ, I should, because he's looking for an account siphon. Uh, but he's going to try to go through it with the trace. Like, he's going to try to beat the trace to run the... the he can't beat the trace. Hmm. I beat it with my recurring. Maybe you should, then. Maybe four is reasonable. I'm going to try it. Uh, normally, I wouldn't do this, so I kind of want to see how it works out. Uh, so you need to make this a trace four, also. Mm -hmm. And it'll tag him. Yeah. He has to get rid of that tag because else we'll trash his economy. Well, some of his economy. It isn't Romana. Yeah, so now that we put so much money, we're probably not going to get that early Astro as easily. So we maybe mm -hmm. should just ice up archives, shut down more economy. Yeah, so my thinking behind this is he's probably looking to get in an the early other... account siphon, and he's going to do that with either Crypsis or like. Yeah. Playing out a fixed strength breaker and getting it cheap. The other big awesome. play, though, and I've seen you do this now twice, Anthony, and you have uh -huh. you don't even consider it. Uh huh. And Andromeda doesn't have any breakers down, and she runs your HQ. The only reason she's doing it is because she wants you to rest the eyes, so she knows what she has to go and get. To That's get true. Her. That's true. So the play you can make against Andromeda, and of course this depends on your hand contents. I'm doing but this. The play you can make is. Don't fucking res your HQ ice. It is the most frustrating thing in the world to an Andromeda player. And it is also why forged accounts, or forged um, activation order, is a good card in Andromeda. Much better than Gabe, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to pay the one and give him two tags. Um, Otherwise he can pay two, get the dollar back. And not no, be just tagged. make it... Make it um... He's got a link, so he could pay two... Yeah, he'd 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 go from two credits to one credit. Yeah, or right, I can and give him get him money tag. and dump the tag. Yeah, so I want to yeah. give him the tag yeah, that way he's tagged right. for sure. Sure, reasonable. I'm saying you will be tagged on my turn right now. Yeah, that's good. Gives us options. And yeah, this play is not scoring a quick Astro. I mean, this no, will have give to play up on that as soon as we put four on Drake on. But yeah, always consider like. In this situation, it was a 20% chance it would have actually hit the Astro. Consider just not resing the Draco. Mm -hmm. it, would be okay. it would be okay. Because yeah. um, it really screws his... Uh, but, like, he's got Desperado, like... If, so, if let's say I'm Andromeda, right? I run your hand. Um, yeah, no, like I said, it does depend on their hand. Yeah, I would just keep running hit your hand, then, if I was him. And I'd just get yeah. a bunch of free money and see, like, your whole hand. Yeah. Okay, I don't know, but what if my hand is just like ice and, and operations and like... Nah, I still gain a bunch of information and gain money. I don't know, I feel like that is a big slowdown in the early game for you. Okay, and he's oh, going up... Oh, dirty laundry, baby, come oh, on. Oh, please oh. do it. No, he didn't. Okay, Jackson. So he's already in pack me mode, which seems a little... suspect. I guess it's because he got the early blast grade, maybe, that he feels confident to do it. But, yeah, against MBN, it's not the Scorched you have to worry about so much anymore lately. It's the, uh, the economic shutdown. Hmm. wonder what his play is here. Yeah, me too. I mean... The thing is, I really like the position we've put him in, mm -hmm. because, like, he's not even going to be able to put out a KD at this point. We could really use a hedge fund or a sweeps week, though. Maybe really. I don't know, not exactly what we want to... Uh, kill this? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about the MMCs, but... Yeah. Do we just put the uh, the thing on the thing on the archives? I could, I could go Viper or Mining Corp. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should just do that. Or I could go, you know, protect the archives. But yeah, Viper's Mining Corp. 
seems alright. It's too bad you don't get the Chilo. Oh, I, I, could, just put, I could just put Chilo out instead, but... Yeah. But like this, we might actually make a ton of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Link is bad, but... Um, the way that most decks currently running Link work is they've got like a console with Link on it, like you say yourself, they're toolbox. And they don't tend to rush it out really fast and then start running. They tend to start running and then get a good mid game or, or end game situation where they get a lot of money and then they are also able to afford the toll booth or the toolbox or they get it in with like uh, account stipend money or something like that. And if it, with this deck, if you keep them poor enough, maybe that'll slow it down enough that it doesn't matter too much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely. The, Link is bad. Yeah, this deck is a very weak to Link. This is a user submitted deck. So, um, like if they get the three Link, we just have issues. Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> straight up have issues. All right. Oh. Yep, just three. Come on, pay two. Probably won't. Probably not. That'll be really suspect. Okay. And unfortunately, there's no way we can make him unable to trash that. No, we can't. Yeah. Because we... Nope. If he pays all four... Oh, I guess the Desperado. Yeah. The Desperado. Yeah. Fair enough. Turns out Desperado countered an MMC, and MMC was like the economy card for a very, very, very long time. He might not pay it, though, here. I mean... Reasonable chance that he thinks that this is... He may not pay to get in because we only have one crit. Right, because like and we so we, we would anyway. Yeah, and we would make this play if it was a sand sand too. Yes. Right, because that would stop him from being able to trash the sand. Or sand. Bernice, Bernice would yeah. be really bad too. Exactly. So he he let it jack him out, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, and this is again what like, MBN and Genteki have this in common, where you need to know all the archive or um, archetypes that are being played commonly. So you can pretend you're doing things that a certain archetype would do while you're playing a different one. Like that's much more important in Genteki and MBN, in Genteki especially, than if you're playing House Bioroid and uh, Wayland, I feel. Although, I mean, Wayland kind of has it with the whole, you know, what kind of package do I have to kill you? Mm -hmm. All right, but those so... are more, you know, threatening things like... Yeah. So he can get into our centrals at this point, which is a little scary. So how do you feel about what Fallen Majesty is saying? It's been cutting Caduceus and using it on Ash and Archer instead. I just find that a suspect decision to be honest. Uh, Ash is pretty good in MBN. I mean... Sure. Uh, especially if you're not running much else trace stuff. But Caduceus, Caduceus is really good. However, because everyone's been running Mimic, I've, it's been a lot less good. Right, okay. So I, I think I'm fine with that. Like, Caduceus is really, really good, unless you're against... Um, I would just have to wonder, why not cut other influence? You get the Caduceus, the Ash, and the Archer. That might be hard to do. I was going to inside job it. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Or something. What's the play here? I was just running it again. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm fine with this. Like, yeah, That's he's getting... costing you clicks. Yeah. Like, fine. yeah, yeah, he's gonna get my SMC or my. Basically, my SMC. that became my that part. like that click he lost there became a. Yeah. Like okay. Became, he... That became two clicks of him taking money. Yeah. I so yeah I lose my mining corp, but man, did that cost him a ton. It would have been equally efficient for him to just pay the first time and then use these last two clicks to gain one buck each. Like he gained no efficiency here, but he probably thinks it's being clever. This actually gained him nothing. Yes, yeah. Like he'll Man. have he'll, he has an extra two credits, but it took an extra two clicks. Two clicks. So So I don't know, I don't value a click at a credit. Like I think he came out behind there. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have two clicks than two credits. Because I can always turn two clicks into two credits. But not the other way around. Yeah. Alright, well place down a Chilo gain two. Um Yep. I like that move. I don't like the agenda, but we are piling up. Yep. Try to induce another run. 
The other thing we can do is just have a bunch of titles on the server and, or on, on the table, and then if he runs HQ with the inevitable account siphon, we'll just like res two of them and say, "What up, son?" Yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty amusing. I mean, we could put them on a, on our remotes or our centrals too. Yeah, well, like we can put one on R and D. Give that hunter a little more. Like then you have to break it. You can't let that trace run. And a four strength sentry is kind of a bitch to break. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish that link in this game worked like compromised employee just across the board. Yeah, I agree. I think recurring credits, like Link gives you a credit, to, or yeah, any, any Link card gives you a credit to spend on a trace instead of permanent. Mm -hmm. Like, that could have still been permanent Link, but it should have been, like, way more expensive, like, way harder to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But, like, Link in general, like, was compromised employee. Because then, then they could feel free to do a little bit more with it without it just completely shutting out entire strategies. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, I think there should be two, like, there should be all the link that we have should probably be much more like compromised employee, and then we should have the link that we have could still exist, like mm -hmm. permanent plus one, like, not recurring. Yeah. Credit-wise. But it would just have to be way more expensive. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be good design space to have. Clear up. Ooh, I see. So that's why he was okay. Floating mm -hmm. the tag. I just, well, I've even, always been a big fan of Archer in any corp. Uh, I'm, it's worked really well. There was a time when it was really suspect because you know you were just going to have it shut down constantly. There was not much you could do about it, and it was just terrible. But I feel like it's a bit better now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. All right, he's going to have to discard cards. So the up wasn't even that. The Nash is a strong card if you've got money, and they've certainly printed a bunch he... of corp money lately. He lost a Forge Activation and a Day <coughs> Casts. Well, he didn't need Forge Activation because he didn't have anything to Forge Activate. God, more Gen Daily Cast is uh, pretty terrible for him. We should mm -hmm. probably get that Jackson out, shouldn't we? We could do it behind that, yeah, exactly. Just draw a Jackson, draw some cards. Yeah, that's the worst thing we could draw into. Nothing. There's nothing bad we can draw into. That's pretty good. So, do we dump stuff, or do we, uh... Hmm. That's the question. I think we just, I think we might be okay just putting the Chilo on the, uh, on the R&D. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. We can draw the dump stuff next turn if you feel like it's safe. Okay, I'll try it. Um... I do kind of want him to run into a remote. Like Yes. Absolutely. But now if he decides to like suddenly bust out an indexing or maker's eye or something, our R and D's in a pretty good place too. Like let's be honest, he would suspect that the thing on the R and D would be a Bernice, right? That's what I would suspect, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so. right now he hasn't seen anything out of the ordinary really. Oh my god. Well, the hunter's a little bit. Yeah, you um, gotta drop to here. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Get time money. To get money. Yeah. And time to discard cards. Market research for sure. And Beal, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I think I think I need to discard the Beal. Yeah, it's either the Beal or the TMI and then get the May launch back, but I'm not really feeling the May launch, so No, it's not gonna be that good just randomly in R and D anyway. Yeah, that's too. Increases the leakiness. I think you probably want the TMI on the archives. Just for the off chance that it goes off there, I guess. Well, unless you get some other good ice. Yeah, no. It's going to the right place. Mm -hmm. Just happy that he didn't have a dirty laundry to do that with, because that would be ridiculously efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. So we could really use an Adonis, actually. Yeah. 
Just want some money. If he just starts sitting on a big bank account, there's not much we can really do. We need an Adonis just so we can actually run that remote and spend money. Mm -hmm. I really want to land a Muckraker Chilo though. <laughs> like, all the tags. There you go. <laughs> He's discarded. Always a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Pretty normal, except for the lawyer ups. Those are not. I'm like, I'm not sure if they should be in Andromeda. Oh, they're not. Credit, credit. Not definitely wrong. Interesting. Yeah, he's the gearing up to do like a like he's thinking like gonna like play a fem on that Draco or some shit and come in at us. It's gonna uh, be something like that, man. They could put Muckracker on it or TMI. Uh, what is up with all these damn agendas? Hmm. Did he draw it all that turn? No. No, so he, he, just he, he has a plan. Like he knows what he wants to do. He just needed money for it. He drew one card. Oh, okay. He drew a card, ran archives, gained two dollars. Okay. <sighs> okay. So let's see. TMI is a dead card right now. TMI is dead unless it's, it's unless it's preventing against the siphon or something. I think TMI is a good bluff, like on archives, so he doesn't just blindly dirty laundry in there. Uh -huh. But we also want buffer cards in our hand, probably at the moment. Okay, am I putting ice on my hand? Can you afford to give him that BP? Well, you could put it there and not necessarily res it. I could, I could put TMI on my hand and only res it if he siphons. Yeah, that's a thing you can do. Sure. Right? Yeah. Between that and the Chilos, I can... Yeah, you've got plays. Do you and then I can... Card? Do you draw here? Gain a credit. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I mean, we're... really, we're, we're looking for the ability to make some kind of play here. Um... That's why I would have drawn. Like I would hope to get another another um, MMC or a Adonis, just so you can make your remote a thing that he has to deal with. Because mm -hmm. he is like close to just shutting us out of this game by having a big bank, which is the same as having a bunch of link. Yeah. The hope is that he's running some kind of ridiculously expensive rig and he kind of bankrupts himself building that. Mm -hmm. Which is again why it's really important not to play breakers against, you know, like non Jinteki corps. And that of course makes, you know, Neurocana a good splash, by the way. But it's really important to try to keep breakers in hand or or, or, or what have you as long as possible. Not just to sh not show the corp that you can get through a server, but also to uh to just save the money because a bank account is often very threatening. A bank account is potential. It's kind of like Genteki face down ice. If it's face down, it's potential. Mm -hmm. Once you show them what you got, you lose also all the potential. Like if he builds, if he builds a complete rig right now with all his money, then yes, he can get in everywhere. But we immediately get a window to score our astro because he'll be dead broke. Yeah. This deck isn't running breaking news, is it? Alright, you've been thinking about making Snoop Data Hunt work? Yeah, no, you can't make Data Hunt work. It there's is. nothing to make work. So we have breaking news, but. Man, I wish that we had a way to do the breaking news closed out of hand. Like, yeah. the, the inability to do that because this deck doesn't run Sans Hand really sucks. It's one of my yeah. biggest pet peeves with it. There's no way to just say, oh, you're sitting on 40 bucks. Well. Nope, not anymore. It's a big equalizer because you get a Sansa and Reds at the same time as yeah. killing their money, so they can't even easily go in and trash it. That's really bad. Yeah. All right. So one of the okay, he goes and gets the Fem. If he plays it, 
we're in a pretty good spot. Like, if you place them on TMI, we're actually really happy, and we just don't die <laughs> and put something else there instead. That would, that would be the best. And, so. it would be a, and it would be a server that would cost him five to get in, which is fine. Yeah, I actually want him to play it. We're kind of just hoping he makes some plays that we can then react to. Yeah. The worst thing he can do for, from our perspective, so, you know, the best thing he can do from his perspective is not make any plays, just get money. Make your hand even better so you can respond to any possible play we make and get money. Okay, this is only a good play if he actually lands the some siphon. kind of crippling blow here. Like, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. It's got to be a siphon now, right? Yeah, but how is he going to do that? Like, maybe, it's, I don't know, how is he going to, how is he going to land that siphon? Oh, hey, put it on the TMI. TMI, baby. So yeah, no, that's, good. I, that's just a mistake. So good. I totally see what he's trying to do, because he's like, hey, now I can use this one breaker to get into that HQ. And all I have to do is pay like six or seven, depending on the amount of subroutines, if he even reses it, else it's five, and I can start landing all my siphons and get the economic control. But he can't immediately land a siphon now, so he can't actually start the economic control, which means he's giving us a huge window. Yeah. We get to react to the play he's now... I mean, it was already kind of telegraphed, but now it's definite. You know, if the fem was in hand, yes, he's still telegraphing to us that he's going to try to use it to get the account siphons landed, because that's what criminal always wants to do. Hmm. But as long as it's in hand, if we suddenly make a big remote play, he can use it there and shut us down. Yeah, I wonder if we're actually, if we can just make some kind of remote play here. He's at three. Oh, he's getting, I mean... Oh, no, he's going to be at less than three, as it turns out. Oh, he's going to be, uh... Okay, no, you have to, uh... You not rest the Chilo? No, he's oh, resting. He's, he's going he's gonna to break that, isn't he? He's going to... We, we have to decide first. We have to decide first if we rest the Chilo. Yeah, he Before can't break it. Um, Chilo double oh, you tags. You can't. You can't break it. It's four strength, not two, not three. My bad. Yeah. You should probably res the Chilo. Okay. Sure. Why not? Two tags. I mean, wire up still still helps him a ton, but. Uh... I mean, it does. It does. Uh. It does make it harder to make a remote play because we're gonna have less money. Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna do that anyway. Probably not. This does set us up pretty well. We have the closed accounts now, you know? Yeah. I mean, we're not in a good position to close him here, but... No, but if he comes in and account siphons us, and then we can close him after, it seems okay. Unless he, like, account siphons us and immediately installs all the breakers he needs, so then even if we close him, he's better set up than us at that point. Mm-hmm. That would certainly change the dynamics of this game. Like, he would propel himself okay. straight from phase one into phase three. Yeah. So, I'm thinking, though, he has to have a lure up in his hand. Because he probably assumed this was Bernice and that he was going to get two tags anyway. Sure. So, maybe we should have not res the Chilo and just done the one tag. Yeah, maybe. But that is assuming a lot. And it's also assuming that he's just going to burn the lawyer up then on one tag. Which, given that he's running on his last click, expecting to get tagged. Yeah. Seems unlikely anyway. How is the audio today, guys? By the way, is it okay? Wow, that's good. That's a four cost to break. Mm -hmm. All right. What are we doing with it? <laughs> I feel like we might put it on. HQ instead of that TMI. Just try to keep the siphon off. Yeah. Sure. I mean, he can try to get into a big R&D lock, but he's going to get tons and tons of tags, at which point all we need to get through is a, uh, a psycho and we win. Alright. Alright, we're going to try this. Um... I do want to put another piece of ice on R&D, though. Yeah, eventually. The Muckraker is kind of destined for that remote, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it can go on R&D. 
given that we have a child there. We but then, could do that. However, the problem is that bad pub plus the link is just going to make Viper so Yeah, much, no, we, we, so, we need so some bad. ice for the for the remote first. Like, but if we draw a second muckraker, it's fine to put one on each place. Mm -hmm. it seems to do. And that weakens our HQ again, but meh, seems okay. But our way to victory here seems to be... Hmm. Why would he run that? Uh, if he was just going to gain a credit anyway, to like get to sure gamble range, he might as well have seen the mystery card. I guess, but I don't know. You know it's B's eyes. In case, in case we spend influence on it, maybe. Yeah, no, I mean, it's strictly better than just clicking to gain a credit. Sure. I guess not strictly better, because it could set him up this doesn't to, like, make any sense. Sea source or something, but... Like, this run doesn't make sense to me. Oh, okay. It's a mistake. Okay. Like, yeah, he could do this cute thing where he just runs our archives instead of getting money. Ha ha. And the game suddenly takes twice as long to play. Um... Oh. Seriously, like, I don't want to talk shit about all our opponents, but if you don't know that kind of stuff, maybe you shouldn't join experienced runners. Oh, yeah, I guess you joined his game, didn't you? So, like, you can't, yeah. Can't say anything. This one's on you. Yeah. It's supposed to look at all cards. I'm going to quickly take a bathroom break. Alright. Okay, so what is looking at my archives telling him? Pretty much nothing. I, at this point, if I was him, you'd have to think that I had agendas in my hand. I mean, I guess I did Jackson away a lot of things, but it's still a pretty reasonable assumption that I have at least one agenda in my hand. I mean, my hand's been pretty secure. We've gone through many turns. So I'm interested in what uh, his plan is here he's trying to do. Oh, by the way, Fallen Majesty, you can just send it to me on like Netrunner DB or something like that, and that way anything that lets me export it into Octagon, and that'd be the easiest way to send me a deck that you want me to play. All right, here we go, interface. This is a problem. This is what I was thinking about Caduceus on R&D, but... Now he's going to have all of the tags. So now our plan is to win off of like a psychographics. Um. If you build a deck on one of those sites like Card Game DB or Netrunner DB, you know, you just one of those online deck builders, if you build it in there um, and save it, generally those decks just, or those sites just naturally have like an export to Octagon function. And if you give me a link to the deck, I can click, I can go to the link, pop up the deck, and then just export it to Octagon myself. Okay. So I really need to shut down this. So we're gonna draw another card. This doesn't shut it down by any means, but it'll at least make it a little bit more difficult. And he can't just run it right away. He'll have to gain some money to actually get in. Caduceus costs four for his femme to break. I mean, I guess he doesn't need to break the and the run, but but he's too poor, so he actually just has to break it anyway. So, um, 
He played in an RDI interface, ran through, got two tags, didn't see anything, or he trashed a money corp. I put a Caduceus here. It's my turn okay. again. So we got um, Perfect. a core quest to do things like... Oh, that wasn't a request, actually. I was, I was reading that long. Uh, we, we got a new deck here from Fallen Majesty we can try out next. Okay. Um, okay, so we have seven credits. He's got four what? tags. I'm a little sad it's more... MBM, though. <laughs> yeah. We'd run right. too, but... He took a bunch of tags? What did he do? He ran our R&D? Yeah. Okay. I could put Bernice somewhere, just increase the tagging, but... Meh. Yeah, increasing the tagging doesn't seem like... a huge thing. Strako's pretty dead at this point. Yeah, the Muckraker's not doing much either. I yeah. Get through that for three. Yeah, I can close his accounts at some point, but I don't think now's the time for that. Uh, you could close the accounts, put the Astro down, and go for the score. You think I'd be able to? Well, no, because of... Uh, you'd have to put the Draco down as well, because of inside job. Uh -huh. But the play would be to make it so the enter run trace on the Viper gets the job done. I think you don't want to wait too long with that, though, in case the Yogg and everything comes out. Like, this might be the turn for it. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. It'll be, you'll, you'll be cutting it close, I think, but, uh... I could put the Muckracker there instead of the Draco, but... But nope. then I can't. But then I can't score it if I res it. So yes, that would be terrible because you want to just res that and keep it on zero. It's not there to tax him. It's there to be inside job protection. Is there any way he could get in without inside job here? Probably not. Uh, stim hack. Stim, stim hack. Always like stim hack is often the answer that nobody's using anymore. Oh, it's making a bit of a comeback, but it's been it's much more niche now than it was. Stim hack used to be. Like two of in every deck was just good, back in core, and then for a mm -hmm. while after, and then it kind of dropped off. Uh, like it, it got really big when Personal Workshop came out, obviously. Yeah, well, yeah, that and, and SMC. Kinda, yeah, and then it kind of just dropped off really hard for I'm not entirely sure what reason, but uh, it's still really good. Stimhack was like automatic two times in almost every deck and three times in every NR deck. Although, Stimhack was always a bit of a card that was like... A lot of new players were very scared of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, and I think there were some people on like the BGG forums who were talking about how bad of a card it was. And it's like, man... No, <laughs> you do not know how to evaluate brain Yeah, you don't... Like, exactly. You just don't understand how not scary one or two points of brain damage is. It doesn't do anything bad. Fairy. Oh, fairy we don't care about. Um... No, do not res. Well, I could actually res. Except I'm not going to, score. so... You can't score. Yeah, I'm not going to. You couldn't res, it would be a terrible play. Well, he couldn't um, stop me from gaining the three. He could, he's got fairy. Yeah, okay, I guess... I guess. He oh, no, it cost him... Yeah, no, he's... Yeah. 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 Wait, no, he doesn't have any credits. You could have done that, actually. Yeah, see, but, that's... I Wait, then you should have. Holy shit. I totally should have. You just talked me out of good play, man. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought it said he had a credit. It said he had a play. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Yeah, I know that Kadushi should be res. Yeah, yeah. Should have gotten a whole bunch more tags off of that. Yeah. And yeah. It would have also ended his run, which would have been really good. I thought it said a credit. My bad. Uh, whoops. Whoops. I'm I'm not gonna take it back because the oh he's got he's got to lose a credit though. Here we go. I will, I will aid him. <laughs> Why does he have to lose a credit? Because he was at zero. But he has desperado. Um. 
Um, yeah, but so it like it, he gained the credit and then he got kicked out. You see. He should have a credit after this run. Yeah, he should be at a credit at the end of it. Yeah, that's exactly what okay. I was he should be at two credits now, because he took the credit. Fucking Octagon. Alright, yeah. Well, it wasn't Octagon, it was you fucking around with it. <laughs> no, 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 it had him at one, and I told, and he had to remake the run. So yeah. he should have been at two, at, he would have been at two at the end of that. But, I don't know. Took the credit off, but whatever. Regardless. I think he never got the credit for the first time he kicked him out before he hit F3, so he never got the credit. Anyway, regardless, s yeah. sad about the uh, Caduceus, but you know. Caduceus whatever. should have totally been res, because you would have gotten the money. It would have been a big deal, too, because um, it protects it on the turn that I scored the Astro script. I know, I know. So. It was totally bad. Like, it was really, really bad. But, you know, in my defense, why don't you stand up for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you just roll over and give me what I want every time, even yep. if it's totally terrible. Yep. You gotta be more assertive. It's true. Well, it's because you made me second guess myself. I was like, oh, okay, I guess he has a credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I guess that one click is a credit. Who knew? Mm. Oh, it's a lot of RDI suddenly. That's a, that's a problem. Where did this come from? Yeah, you know, Caduceus would be really good here. <laughs> it's okay, because now when he does run in this next turn, he's going to be totally taken by surprise. Yeah, it's going to wonder what are these scrubs doing. <laughs> but, yeah. Damn, that's bad. Oh, he just doesn't score anything. Wow, that's rough. He deserves right. an agenda there, to be honest. <laughs> well, we did not get punished. Well, given the cards, he's like the amount of cards he saw, he deserves to see an agenda. That's just how that is. All right. I think you gotta entice him to make bad decisions now by placing the Bernice into the uh, remote. Mm -hmm. Bernice into remote anything. gains you. I need, I need to gain, obviously. So, oh yes. no. Oh, never. Well, no. Yeah, I'm gonna go it. Adonis gain too. Yeah, that's suddenly much better because it also entices him to do bad things. Yeah, because like and, he's too poor. If he runs in, and he's like not if getting. he doesn't go, we still get a lot of money, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't get not poor either because we'll just close his accounts. Yeah. I, I f I'm feeling pretty good right now, and we have the Beal in hand, so if we draw a Psycho at any point, just money wins. It's like... Yeah. How much money do we need to win? Um, let's see. So... We need to score a 5-point Beal. We need to score a 5-point Beal, which means it's got to be at 7? Uh, no. 9? It's got to be at 9. That's what I meant, 9. So, so we need $9 minus 1 for Astro. So, yeah, eight. So, eight. Okay. So, so not too much. Eight is our golden number. Always good to know. Yeah. I think we're in good shape. On the bright side, if we had done the Caduceus, well, we would have still had all those tags. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. He probably wouldn't have ran he's in. He's got that the last exact year. right number of tags. Like if he does the math here, and he should, he should dump like two tags. That's what he needs to dump. Well, if he draws a lawyer up, he'll probably use it, right? Yeah, but he needs to, he needs to dump two tags. That would be really good for him. All right, I am here. not resing the Draco. No resing uh, the Draco. Sure. No, no, I'm definitely not resing the Draco. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not even gonna run no. that first one. Just gonna run the second one and pump it twice. Yeah, because you're not doing the time though either. So you're saying, hey, you can get in. It's no problem. Just uh, pay us all your money. Pay all your money and do nothing. Sounds let good. Us, let us close your accounts without having to play one. 
and you will get the information that that's in the donors that he would have given you anyway. I guess he finds out what that you know that there's a child in there. Nice. <laughs> I'm trying to read the Stimhack article. Cool. All right, so let's take a look while we're waiting here. Uh, this is the next deck we're going to play. Um, okay. So when I say that I'm trying to read an article, you decide to like give me other shit that I have to do instead? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, actually, let's take care of something. Back in a second. Okay. So cool. Private security force. Hmm. The security force is interesting over market research. I'll say that. Um, oh, it's our turn. Okay, so he just let it kick him out. All right, I'm back. Um, okay, he just let it kick him out. Oh wow! And we drew all money. Week. So that means that I'm just gaining money here. I'm pretty sure. Although actually, he he could maybe siphon me. Could he? If he gained three credits and then siphoned me, I believe he could get in. Why three? He can just he can do it now. He can, he could just do it. Yeah, he can just do it because the fairy fairy's a problem here. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think you want to do anything about it. I think you want to just stay like this. Yeah, I think we're just gaining money here. Yeah. Maybe put the Bernice yeah. in the Adonis server. No, I think you want to keep the Bernice to shield the uh, Beal. Like if you put it in the Adonis server, it's obviously not an agenda. So you rather keep her so you can go off an agenda with it. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's just an option that you could do. If if we think that he's going to go in and kill Adonis here and we want to protect it. But we're at 8, which is really all we need the to do. The only way at. he would kill it is after a siphon. Mm -hmm. At which point... Uh, no force, not enough for close to counts because he can siphon us rather easily. So we want to hit the closed accounts after the siphon. You could do it at four. It's not like it's a terrible play to do it at four. Yeah, if, if our ice was better equipped to deal with his breakers, we would certainly consider it. But I, I think I'd rather hold on to it right now. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the fairy. Sweet. I wanted to get rid of her. That's really good. Now close to comes becomes totally viable again. For the uh, siphon lands. All right, so the hunter. Um, it's not gonna break. He's gonna take two, two tags, which is good because like ten tags is kind of a magic number here, where he's not just gonna be able to dump four of them. You know. So all we need now is the psychographics. Okay, yeah. I, I just did that because I wanted to make sure that you can't just lure up out of Atex. Yes. Okay, so this is the deck. Okay. Uh, private contracts? Interesting. Two flares, two Ichis, a swordsman. I don't know about those entries. Interns? Okay. What is that for? Like, what's the combo we're looking at? The sentries are interesting. Um, is the interns just there to get more stand stance? Oh, here. Okay. That's fair. I don't like PSF walking because if you play against it properly, the game still drags on forever. It makes you draw, like, a whole bunch of cards in your hand. At some point, they have and your HQ is just going to get nuts. And then, on the turn that you're going to kill them, they basically can just go for it for four clicks. And often win. Like it's not a hard lock; it's a soft lock, and it's not very good for you normally. 
Yeah, but they have to play well around it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the sentries are interesting. Um, Kogates look pretty standard. Bears look fine. The I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like Ichi I Eli type of splash. Like Firewide splashes are always a bit. Uh -huh. I'm assuming that the interns are just for the Sans Sans. Okay. Uh, last click running HQ. I do not want him to take my Beal. Um. Right. Sure, you probably get your money back. Probably. Even if I don't, oh, the Adonis puts me back. Oh, definitely. No, he can't get in now. It's fine. Yeah. Seems legit. So, pumping that Draco to four was very much correct, I've been thinking. Sure. Cool. It's actually going to break that. Yeah, he doesn't want me to gain three. It's reasonable. I'm going to get money from the Adonis, so... Mm -hmm. And have the money either way. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Do you pump this white one? I think you might. I will pump it once. And then you keep the other one for the Draco pump. Mm -hmm. Let the Caduceus run on its native two. If he spends one, he can't break the Drake call. Then. And maybe we should. I don't know. Maybe that pump was stupid. We probably didn't need to. No. I think. Yeah. Um, the thing is, he could have. Oh, no. He, he looted it, so it's fine. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. The thing is, otherwise, he would have had this play where he would have just, like, stopped us gaining money and then let the other trades succeed. So I'm going to just let this run as is and hope that he pays for it. Yeah, he'd pay one. But like, it's better for him to pay one and then get kicked out than to just get kicked out. So he's not going okay, to was, okay, okay, yeah. So he did the, exactly yeah. the thing that I said. He was just going to dare go there to the nice the money. But we made him pay an extra buck. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh wait. DB zero. No, I think it's like no, I think it's random. Like I think it gives you a chance of the better of the alternate art. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's how it works with Star Wars IDs at least. So it's just a glitch. All right, that's okay. It's not a big so. deal. Um, so I could just throw out this other Adonis. With the Star Wars IDs, it's random, so I would assume it's here. Just like waste his time. Uh. Good digging for a psychographics in the meantime. I could draw dig. a card here. Let's dig first. Throw that on my uh, archives. Yeah, just because why not? I'm gonna throw out the Adonis. Okay. If he runs it and trashes it, awesome. Like. Yeah, and he kind of has to because what if it's Jackson? Mm -hmm. Like I, he's at two credits. He's at he's in a very limited situation. If I waste his time and money right now, that's like the more all money I need. we can waste without yeah. playing the closed accounts, the better. Close to counts is like healing potions in RPG. <laughs> it's like fighting a big fuck off dragon, but you're like, well, there's a bigger dragon in the next room. <laughs> I shall not use this. <laughs> like, he kills it, bankrupts him, he's not making any runs this turn. Awesome. In the meantime, I'm getting up to $8 and then digging for the psycho I need to win. And he doesn't kill it, which is great. So he, also great. It wasted a click of his, and it's gonna make me money. Well, he's likely. To. Well, the problem now is you gave him a great dirty laundry target again. Yeah. What did he do? I think Why he had dirty laundry this? targets anyway. But yeah. Uh. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Womp womp. I don't know. Doing that on the same turn as you finally icing up archives is a bit. Yeah, okay. So, uh, well, now I can just close the counts him, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, if he doesn't immediately go and trashes it, which at that point he spent four clicks to trash one card, it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the thing is, putting the Adonis out was to just say, okay, don't run. He should like he needs to spend his money right now, either by trashing or by installing something important. Yeah. Okay. Make. Definitely good. That's definitely good. We're very happy with that four-string Draco right now. Like, holy crap. Uh, draw card. Uh, okay. Do I close his accounts now? I think you put a Bernice on HQ at this point, just so you can dump your money in case there's an account set coming. Now, do I sweeps or do I close accounts? Closed accounts protects the Adonis a little better. Closed accounts seems good because why not? So like this is good because if he wants to kill this Adonis, he's gonna have to just click for credits and then it yeah. successfully wasted his turn. Oh, it's gonna cost three clicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I like the Burger Bernice play though because. That's not something you can break, so that trace is going to go off, so if we're on like a weird number of credits, we can just say, hey, you know what? No credits for you. Interns, interns agenda. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. It's certainly worth trying. I feel like we kind of want to keep the sweep speak also as an economy card in hand, so we can do play Beal, play sweep speak, and then have enough money to play Okay, sweet. what we need. Got all wow. the value. Just... Draw a card first. We can, yeah. we can win if it's the right card. Okay. Uh, hmm. Play Adonis. Do I play a Muckracker somewhere? Probably, nah, nah. No, Muckracker's really bad. He it's really bad. I mean, it, ha it has the end the run, and he's got the Mimic now. Yeah, yeah. Breaks yeah. it for one. Muckracker's trash. trash at this point. They are there to dilute the agenda density in our hand. That is the most value you're going to get out of that card. Gain a dollar. Yep. Hey, cool. If he account siphons us now, we still have eight to win the game. <laughs> this deck's running two psycho? Alright. Yeah. Really? Well, we can make that Draco on Archives for right? <laughs> yeah. The problem is, he can start getting into uh, RD. Oh, here. Yeah, because of the mimic. The mimic is the big problem. Yeah. And now the mimic is going to be able to go through the Draco on HQ, so we can see this follow up account siphon coming. Mm -hmm. And that's going to get him out of his hole. Which is bad. And he's going to see us so many cards. Yeah, no, we've been getting really unlucky not getting anything we can blink. Another Astro would have been really good. All these turns. <sighs> we could have just done the Astro chain thing. Then all you would have needed then was, you know... Like breaking you is would have been another out then, because you could have scored it all from hand. Hmm. All you needed was an astro and a breaking news or psychographics. Sure, rub it in. <laughs> it's okay. If we draw a psycho, we win just on the spot. Like, yeah, you should ask him. Hey, bro. We should, should probably just be drawing like two cards turn. The problem is, if you start drawing now, he's going to see so many goddamn cards on R&D. Mm -hmm. This card's not very good against Andromeda, unfortunately. Um, it's not Andromeda, it's problem with Mimic. Mimic just destroys the card completely. It does, but like, e even earlier on, like we it just didn't have a, a stupid run. We didn't have good opportunities because of the length that she has, so. Um, I feel like the card is always kind of like, it wants to be your one big reveal where you to say, hey, now you're just going to be tagged forever. <laughs> because the bat one, you know, you can't really like put it out there turn one and just, oh, yeah, I'll just take turn one bad publicity with a deck that has all traces. I think this card would have been perfectly balanced without the bad publicity. <laughs> 
to be honest. Yeah, yeah or just like give it a little more strength. But that's the same. That's what all these cards, this, all these illicit ice. Grim's fine, and all the other ones are like either take away the bad publicity or just give him some more strength, and they seem fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should have been out of mimic range at the very least. Probably. Yeah, I don't see how mimic. I'm gonna work. draw another card. Shut that card down. TMI's good. Yeah, Team Mike goes on the R and D really, really, really hard here. Yeah, just windmill slam right down. He's going to siphon us. So that's just happening, mm -hmm. and it's very sad. You could have put the TMI on the HQ, but then you're in R and D lock. Yeah, no, I don't like that as much. Whereas here, if he doesn't, act, if he doesn't just siphon us right now, which he really, really, really should. He has zero credits. Okay, uh, totally sweep is viruses. Virus sweep. Virus sweep keeps him out of everything again. We can shut him out now. Mm -hmm. He needs his corroder at this point to get in. Or just like a oh, ton I of money. I probably should have rezzed this other Adonis that I forgot about. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> he needs he needs either a ton of money or his spam or or, or his uh, uh, corroders and even with corroder need that he just needs a ton of money to start getting the data sucker going and at that point we can just shut down the money with closed accounts again so we have more good draws mm -hmm. or we'll just virus purge after giving up a couple accesses oh well that doesn't really change much yeah. Whatever. It does get him in. Yeah, it does. That the kind of sucks because would have really loved to res the TMI before you did that. Wait, does that get him in? Yeah, it does get him in. Okay. Uh, why? Does it matter? He might have needed it. For what? Oh, it's yeah. Okay, no, he has to pay two fairy. Yep. In a tournament, that would have been such a horrible mistake. <laughs> yeah. Would have been pretty crushing. As it is, we have like a ton of good draws. Just need to draw them. Yeah, if we just draw closed accounts here, we're fine. If we draw. How does he keep missing all these agendas, though? Like, he's had so many RD accesses. Apparently, we shuffled them all to the bottom. Apparently, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, well, no, we don't want to do that, do we? I'm just giving him a tag. Oh. Sure. I'm, I'm certainly not emptying my money, because this puts me at 10, which is still enough to win the game. Like. Well, you could have pumped 11 in and res the Adonis. I guess. That would kind of cute move to do, but... I guess. Maybe it would be better. Actually, yeah, maybe it would have been better. Mm. You'd be on three at the start of your turn, and have a sweep sweep ready. Uh, yeah, he's only has three cards in his hand. Yeah, I know, but maybe he draws, because you have to click still. Or one click, yeah. I don't know. He's going to draw at some point. Then the sweep sweep's going to be good. It's tough to say. It would have been better to dump money. Like that playing that hedge fund kind of made it really tough. Would have probably been better to keep the hedge fund in hand than uh, dump the muckraker into the archives. To be honest, then you could have much more easily dumped your money. Oh god, what's happening? All right, just kick him out, and then manually lose credits and give him credits. Give him 11. One more. Give him two tags. Unlikely to matter, but who knows. He drew a card. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, the thing is now the team I is off again. Res the Adonis, will you? Yeah, I'm definitely going to res the Adonis. If we're lucky, he just spends a lot of money getting rid of that again. No, my TMI is alive still. I can beat. I can beat him. 
everything broke. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Do it. Do it. No, my TMI is not alive. But yeah. No, at this point, who cares? We have so many outs now. There's breaking news in the deck that is good if we manage to draw it somehow. An Astro is good, Breaking News is good, Psycho is good, so that's four cards. Closed Accounts is good. So it's like, what, five or six cards or something? Mm -hmm. Jackson's always good. Yeah, like almost half of our possible draws are good. He needs to spend that money. You can't sit on tags versus MBN with a big bank and no way to get it back. He should be just running R&D. Yeah, okay, so do I try to drain his money on the TMI? Like, I could put... How big can you go? I could I can make a 9 for all of my money. And then... It doesn't seem worth it, because it's correct for him to just break that. It is. It would be there. correct for him to just break it. I could do it for... What do we have? I could pay 3 to make it cost 3. Eh. You could make it cost, I mean, you can make a five, right? Trace, or how much is it? Trace two or trace three? It's trace three, right? Uh, it's trace two. Oh, but, is it? But with my two recurring credits, it'd be four. Yeah, but it cost him three and cost us three. He gains one back right away. I don't know. No, don't do it because it puts us below the threshold we need to win in case there's a psycho on top. Yeah, I think so too. Well, no, it doesn't actually put it. Well, no, yeah. No, it doesn't put us below the threshold. We actually could do it because it's sweeps weak and everything. Uh, I'm not sure, though, if it would be correct to try to res that. You just economically drain yourself so hard, you know? Yeah, I mean, we only need to score the research to win. So we only need $3. Oh, yeah. I guess I hadn't considered that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, in that case, I think if he does another run in there, I'm going to res it. Yeah, well, next time you should have more money, so then you can maybe just actually make it stick, which would be ideal. Ah, uh, well, he's, he's going to get some agendas this turn. Oh. Yeah. Well, that that's one of our outs gone. Well, the density of outs has decreased, I guess. He's just not getting points, though. That's, we that's need good. closed or psycho, so there's three cards and 15. He, he needs he needs three more hits still to win, so that's really bad for him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, say, at least that wasn't another account siphon which would have wrecked us. And he can't snipe our win condition from hand, because we have two. And he can't win, so that's always good. <laughs> yeah. And he's paying a lot of money for this, so actually, like, fire is purging in case we don't draw anything good. is actually good, right? Maybe. Or just drawing into Closed or Psycho. I mean... Also a possibility. Oh, sad. He could run in again. Yeah, that would be really bad. Yep, I should have. I should have raised that TMI. It's fucking stupid not to. It would have taken like all of his money, and then he couldn't have done half of this shit. I wouldn't have taken all of his money. I would have only taken all of his money if you would have dumped all your money in. I wish I would have. Cause of the Adonis, I think. I would have still had enough money to be threatening, to be honest. On the plus side, any agenda at all is good for us to win the game. No, well, we need a psycho or close accounts. No, no, I mean, if he sniped it here. Well, I guess Astro would be not good, actually. Hold on.
Okay. Draw a card, I guess. <sighs> or purge viruses. Oh yeah, purge viruses might be the correct thing to do. Actually. But with seven dollars, um. No, you gotta purge, man. Because if he comes at you with more account siphons, you have issues. Don't you? Yes, like, or, or I could draw cards and I have, a, I have a ton of money in my hand. Wait, are we being really dumb? Should we just not try to score behind the code gate we have? Which apparently he can't get through? He can get through it. How? Maybe we should have just been trying to score after we got that Astro off. If he plays a Yogg or something, he gets through. Yeah, now that he's got the sucker tokens. I guess he could have gotten them anyway at the point. I guess we never really had a... Okay, I think it's maybe, either... Maybe we had a window, but we didn't really pick It's well. either A, I'm drawing and looking for the win. I have I have three cards that basically are a win. Closed account, Psycho, and Psycho. Or I purge. If we purge and he runs first click, do we get the TMI rezzed? Uh, I would be trying to res the TMI, yes. But can we get it? Yeah, we can get it res. I think we purged them. Okay. Oh, I, did, I hope I did the math right on that. We can make it a trace 11. Yeah, he can't do anything about that. Good. We just really badly need that TMI res, so... Yeah. I think the TMI should just be wall statics in this deck. Yeah, that was one of the things we talked about, I think, last time. Mm -hmm. TMI is really good when you get it rezzed cheaply, but how often does that actually happen? Yeah, most of the time it just uses your abilities credits and then you can't use it elsewhere, though. Yeah. I think we did talk about that. TMI should probably just be Wall of Statics or Bastions. Depends on the strength, actually. Far. Oh, well, we have three strength and four strength ice already, so wall static's fine. The problem with just purging I is think, he can I just... Think we, I think we literally set that last time, and we just forgot about it now. Yeah, I think the problem with purging there is he can run archives, get the data sucker counters back, and then run... Yeah, because the, the TMI's are the only barriers, and we said that we don't have any real gear check, basically, because mm -hmm. as long as they have money, they don't actually have to go and get their corroder. Mm -hmm. So we should absolutely... Oh, really? Um. Okay. Seems wrong somehow. No, he he can get through, I think. Yeah, he can get through. It just takes all of his money. Oh, right. Okay. Sure. Why didn't he do that last time turn when it would have crippled us? Oh, uh, his last turn was fine. His last turn, he scored three agendas, or two agendas. His last turn, one of those clicks, then he went into our HQ, I feel would have been better spent on doing that account siphon, to be honest. We would have been left with two credits, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I think purging was incorrect last turn. Was it? Almost certainly incorrect, yeah. Oh, okay. Almost certainly. Um, well, we have to just let him in. Because, like, I could have gained enough money off the sweeps and the hedge to just, like, guaranteed power the TMI. Oh, okay. Sure. But I think we can go and edit this deck and just put wall of static in instead of TMI. Why'd you give him two extra? Oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't matter anymore at this point. He's well past where he needs to be for any uh, anything that matters. Blah. Yeah. Where's them psychos? Our next turn is drawing a card, I think. Our we next turn is drawing a psycho, jeez. <laughs> or a closed accounts would also be quite it's good. It's gone on long enough. Closed accounts is fine, but it's not good enough because you can just get in with another account siphon. Yeah. Okay. Draw. Draw card. There we go. Yes. GG. There you go. Finally. Eight? Are you kidding? 
Why not? Well, that was supposed to. I should have been and a wall of static. Would have. Uh... Yeah, if we had just drawn last turn, we would have. Oh no, we wouldn't have gone in there. Nope. 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 And you know, drawing last turn, you would have seen one more card. So can we see the top card of our deck? Uh, womp Womp would have lost the game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Alright, fine. Oh, uh, apparently we, we didn't we... have any more close counts. Oh. Okay. Did we play both? Oh, yeah, I guess we did play both. Okay, so I guess we were only looking for two outs. But yeah. Well, the Jackson was uh, <laughs> an opportunity to uh, shuffle back. Yeah, we have plenty of. If we had a...